In this video, I'm going to show you how to go in and edit the Start Here information, how to go into the course information and upload an image there, and how to add your um, contact information into the Master Shell. So um, in Start Here, you have a lot of the information already mapped out for you. You can just go in and add it, introduce yourself a little bit. So one thing you want to do is make sure your Edit Mode is on in the upper right-hand corner. So now it's on. Now I have the option to go in and add information, and then I also have the option to edit. So if I go to the um, Get Started information here, hit the drop arrow, go in to edit. Okay, I can make um, changes to these instructions, and um, if you want to, you can expand the screen so you have the full screen to work in. So if I expand that, I can go in and um, see the editor at the top, and I can add images. I can go in and um, just type in my new information. I could take information out, whatever you want to do in this area. If I wanted to add a picture of myself to the welcome, um, up at the top there is an insert image option. And I can go in and browse my computer and find um, the picture of myself on my computer. Okay, so I'm going to grab Lisa on this one, so I'm just going to select that one and open. And you always want to put in um, image text, so I'm going to say picture of Lisa Dubak. And I'm going to copy that and paste it down in here. Okay, and um, if you go to Appearance, you can select the dimensions of the image. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to set it at 75. And if I tab over, it's automatically going to adjust the height. Okay, and if I want some space between the text and the image, I can go in and put in um, some numbers in here for the horizontal and vertical space around it. And I can put a border on it if I want to. So I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And there's the image inside of the, um, the text. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to, I need to go back to the screen where I can submit it. So I'm going to hit the, there's a four pong X in the upper right hand corner that brings it back down into my editing screen. Um, you always want to make sure that whatever you add, you turn on this track number of views and then hit submit. So you will see any changes that you made inside the item in here. All right, so if we go to the course information and syllabus page, we have an area in here for you to put in your banner information, um, your, you know, your name, your contact information, your image as well. So if I go in and I edit that, okay, and what I can do is right click on the image that's there and go to image and I'm going to replace that with the other, the picture that I want. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to throw Lisa's picture in there again and hit open. You can see that it's changed. Um, this one might have already been changed. Nope. So I'm going to change that to 75, make it a little bit smaller. All right. If I want some space around it, I'm going to add some vertical space. All right. And I would want to change the text description and title to say what the picture is of. Update that. That makes it ADA compliant. Okay. Um, now, so I would go in and I would also add information in here and put in um, maybe a phone number. Okay, and then you probably would put in the email information. Okay, and again, if you wanted to make this bigger so you could see it all on the screen, you could hit the four prong arrow to expand it. You can look at the information. Um, if you have any publisher information, make sure you add that or take that off. 
So if you're using McGraw-Hill, if you're using Pearson, I would add the contact information for support for that. So I'm done adding the content I want to this. I'm going to hit the four prong arrow and I'm going to go ahead and make sure by track views is on and then hit submit. Okay, so I've gone in, I've added a picture, I've edited the information for the contact information and, um, and updated my welcome. Okay, so this is your assignment three in your N2L co course.